Uh, hello YouTube, uh, uh, this is Akasas1990, our son is drawn, whatever you like to call me. Uh, okay, today I'm gonna share how to create a realistic terrain without using any external uh, softwares. Uh, so the first thing to do uh, is, obviously we have to have a Cray Engine 3. Uh, so if you have just launch it up. Uh, so yeah, after it's loaded up, uh, yeah, you, uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys um, how to create a uh, realistic uh, mountains uh, in the terrain. So we want it uh, to come out looking like uh, something like this. Let's just give some time to load. Yeah, so we want it uh, to come out like something uh, like this. Yeah, something as realistic as that. Uh, yeah, so let's just take a small tour with our black hook. Uh, let me give you guys a small tip. Uh, to increase the speed of how you move around the map, uh, just go below here. Uh, you can choose it's between, I think, between 1 to 10. I think you can go to 100, but that will be extremely fast. So, 5 for those guys who want to move around the map really fast uh, at that kind of speed. But uh, personally, I use a uh, speed of 3 because it's much manageable. But sometimes you can bring a big problem. Yeah, so control G to enter into the game. Uh, yeah, so F to enter into the helicopter. Space to uh, lift off. You can see our mountains are looking really realistic. Yeah, uh, so we want to end up with such a uh, terrain. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, it's a uh, high quality texture. Uh, it's bumpy, it's not flat. Uh, yeah, extremely high quality resolution texture. Okay, so uh, we need to make a new folder. You call it a uh, a tutorial whatever the spelling is enough time for that yeah so it's just um start up yeah so you should encounter this uh your terrain under the water so we need to raise up the terrain uh, so uh we'll put this like there this one there the height should be more the hardness I think you should use raise and lower because it's much more efficient. And let's set back. Uh, this one should be uh, 12. Yeah, and then we just uh, we should raise the height. High. Yeah, so I'll skip this video when I'm in the terrain. I'll just uh, continue. Uh, so when you're done in the terrain, uh, just cancel this. Uh, we need to make sure it's flat. Uh, so, first of all, we need to make sure the parts which are underwater are uh, risen. Uh, so we go to modify, terrain, modify, flatten, uh, yeah, so need the hardness down, yeah, and something like that, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so next we need to smooth, smoothen the terrain, uh, okay, because we need a flat terrain for this. Uh, not extremely flat, but uh, just almost flat. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, you could raise and lower, that's a very important part. Uh, so, uh, make sure your height is <coughs> at least there. And that's a bit too much. The hardness is like increase it. That's okay. Uh, then, tick uh, enable noise and then drop it slightly because oh, that's too much. So now we just need to uh, just move the brush around. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, we are making a mountain. Mountain. Already coming out realistically. Yeah. Yeah, so there we have it. Let's make this the highest point. So, we want to increase the height, make it go higher. 
there's nothing about what that looks the system will do that and do that yeah. get the high stretch as well yeah. so we don't want to make the ter terrain look like it's just shooting through the ground like that uh, so what you have to do is uh, to decrease the height and decrease that slightly yeah then just uh, raise the hands next to it It's just adding texture. So, in case of texture, uh, click on this one to delete it. Yeah, add layer. And then we call this. Uh, okay. We need to change this to uh, trade.dds. So, we just look for the DDS and find it there. Uh, the best material for this should be. Uh, the one I'm using the most, the, the one of the most nice materials is uh, rock, rock cliff, uh, or one, ah, uh, 3D. So we assign material, should have appeared in a terrain. So we just, uh, just need color now. It's looking uh, almost realistic. Yeah, so we just go back. Uh, okay, so we go to uh, layer painter, uh, paint it uh, gray, soft gray. That yeah, should be okay. Yeah, uh, press the brush with this, and you paint your uh, terrain. Let me just keep this because it may take some time. Uh, so when you're done with painting it, uh, you can go over, uh, take a look at it, and look pretty realistic. Uh, so uh, to draw the map, we just to place our vehicle. So we need to go to entity, uh, uh, place a helicopter because we can maneuver better with that. Uh, uh, make sure it's aligned to terrain. If you click on this and then work, just go here. Uh, click on this button, align object to surface to the surface. One more, click aside, it will align. That's to avoid our uh, glitches that you will actually encounter. And to uh, reposition the plane, the helicopter, you can either use this, uh, select and move, uh, up and down, yeah, front and backwards, or this one, in case, uh, yeah, something like that, yeah, you go back to normal, just click on that one, click aside, yeah, and then just go in. Ctrl G, uh, F to enter the helicopter. As you can see how realistic our mountains look even from a distance. Uh, looking really realistic. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching guys. This has been Hakasas9790. Uh, remember to comment and subscribe yeah, for more videos.